Today we're in Philadelphia and we're about to embark on a highly debated topic. Who has the best Philly cheesesteak in Philadelphia? Is it Gino's behind me who's been around since 1956? Or is it Pat Steaks who's been around since 1930? I guess we're gonna have to try them both and we'll find out. So come on. You want to switch it up? I want the classic. Thanks. One of the two of those. Six, two it. That's gonna be twenty-six. Wow. Next. Next. Quick and ready. Let's try these things. So right here in front of us, we have our classic cheesesteaks from Pat's. So I want to talk about Pat's real quick because this is a quote-unquote the originator and the inventor of the Philly cheesesteak. I do want to compare real quick both of their Google reviews. They both have eleven thousand reviews. One has four stars and one has four point two stars. Wow! I've never seen like any of any food place have that many reviews. Eleven thousand. So obviously this is a neck and neck competition. So let's check out these sandwiches and see what they're so famous for. So on here, they've been in business since 1930. That's probably, I don't know math that well, but like 90 years. So let's check these out and let's get our initial reaction. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is, that looks good. Literally all over their wrapping paper, it has their advertisements. It literally says Pat's king of steaks. He's he's honoring that, that's the name of the place. So he he's calling himself the king of the steak. Yeah. He's the originator, the inventor of this Philly cheesesteak. And it's a simple concept. It's like a French roll with like steak, and onions, and, and nacho cheese. cheese. Yeah, so it seems pretty simple, but it's so loved out here. And so let's, when we're comparing this one, because we haven't had Gino's yet, Remember the heaviness, remember the density, remember the cheesiness, the, the, how juicy the meat is, and let's let's take a bite of this thing. All right, here we go. The meat has such good flavor. So good. And the bread, since it's like a French roll like this, whenever I've had them, they've always been so crunchy and they've been so hard. These are actually soft bread, delicious, juicy meat. And let's talk about how fast it was that they got it to us. We didn't even finish paying. Yeah, everything is already kind of like pre-made. Not pre-made, but like the meat is already made. They just got to scoop it in the sandwich, put the cheese or whatever you want on it. There's tons of different options, which is cool too. But man, so far, I'm, I like this. There is definitely a, a, a bigger bread to meat ratio in this one. I, I, I would maybe do a double meat. Mm. Just, you know, just yeah. to... Probably. Uh. I don't see why not, you know? It is getting better the more bites I get down into the stuff. So I'm gonna. As you get into the cheesierness, the yeah. cheesiness of it. I wanna, I wanna dive down, get a real. I'm true. trying to get in the middle right here. Oh, I love it. Oh, okay. Look at that. Everyone knows it's a competition. This is what this place is known for. Pat's versus Geno's. Who knows what's better? But we'll let you know by the end of this video. Damn. My hands are buddy. Hello. Mm. Mm, this is really good. Are those onions? Thick cut yeah. onions? The onions give it that nice little flavor to it too. It's like a flavor enhancer. What's your overall taste? Like, are you tasting the cheese? Or you I tasting taste a lot of cheese. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm, I'm not mad at that. As you guys know, I'm lactose intolerant. Pick up the merch at But in here, I, I don't know. I'm also a guy that really likes nacho cheese. Like that's my the one cheese I really enjoy. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's not bad. I will say every Philly cheesesteak I've had in California, has been like roasted peppers, mushrooms, mm. onions, all this stuff piled in there. And that's what I wanted to order, but we just had the OG, the original stuff, but this is really good. California, I feel like it's just gonna, like they're gonna overdo things. You know how it is. Look at the guys that sell hot dogs on the side of the road. They freaking bacon wrap them, they throw onions inside of them, Throw squirt them with cheese on the inside. California goes crazy on everything they do. This, it's simple, but it's delicious. Mm. So. Let's get on over to Gino's and let's see how that one compares to this one. Come on, do it. All right, so I already see this one has a bigger line. That might mean something. And the, honestly, the decorations look better. It looks like an overall better restaurant, but that one's been there longer, so. Just the regular ones? Uh, the Wiz is the most popular. Okay. Like uh, yes. Two? We'll do two of those and then one of the mushroom uh, Wiz ones. Onions? Yes. Two Wiz, Wiz mushroom, all Wiz. Uh, one, uh, there's only one mushroom one. Yep. Okay, perfect. Uh, 37. Oh, look at this bun. Oh, 
this one, oh my god, this bread is so much softer here. I was talking about the softness of Pat's buns, but man, this is good, but it's, it's a lot more oily. The one thing yeah. I want to point out from the start is that you can see the meat, the difference. The meat over at Pat's was like finely chopped up meat. These are like actual full on slices of the meat. Yeah, they don't chop them up yet. Yeah. Let's taste this one. Cheers to Gino's. Mmm. Mmm. Very similar. <laughs> kind of like the bread on this one better. I like the bread on this one better, but I think I like the meat over there more. Like, yeah, it's it's nice full pieces here, but I almost feel like it makes it feel like it's a thinner of a sandwich mm -hmm. because they're just like thin pieces rather than a whole clump of chopped up meat. You know? I gotta get more in the middle because that's where all the good stuff is. I will say the temperature stayed warmer on the other sandwich. Uh, this one's like actually kind of cold. This one's kind of cold. And I don't know if it's because it's like lukewarm. I don't know. It could be their system is just cold over there. Well, maybe because they just grabbed the top of the meat and the meat was already like starting to cool down. I don't know. Hmm. This one's know. a lot messier. But something inside of me really just says that that other one was so much more enjoyable every bite that I took. This one, as I get down more and more and more, yeah, it gets a little bit more meaty, but it, the it's flavor- It's mostly is, just cheese. Yeah. The other one had like a like seasoning, seasoned meat. Yeah, this is, it's just, it's regular plain meat, I feel like, just thrown up inside of here. Even the cheese is different over here. Like over there was like a nice classic nacho cheese. Here it's like an oily down cheese. Like it's, it's not as enjoyable to me as Pat's was, where every bite was like, oh, so yeah. This is good. I almost don't even need to finish it. I don't want to finish it. I'm yeah. gonna we'll try the other one, but honestly, this one just has mushrooms added to it. It's not much. Uh, okay, let's check it out. Here we go. Let's see what we're working with here. Literally looks the exact same. Let's see those mushrooms. Oh, wow. That one looks better already. It looks like less cheese, and I think it could be more enjoyable. The mushroom Philly cheesesteak. The mushroom whiz is what they call it. That one has more flavor, more density. Mm. It's making it stand out more. I think they're plain Jane sandwiches. They're good if you're just swinging by and Pat's has a really long line. But it almost felt like the line here was a little bit longer than Pat's. Yeah. They moved a little bit slower. Two similar sandwiches, but completely different tastes. Mm -hmm. That's a hard decision. I can see why this is a heated debate. It's literally the same thing, but they just both just taste a little different. And you gotta factor in like who's cooking it. Uh -huh. There could be someone that's better at cooking them over there, better over here. They could have got fresher meat today. There's so many different variables in it, but I think I made my decision. Let's talk about our decisions because I'm pretty full now after eating all these sandwiches. Okay, Jake, let's make our decision. The people want to know, this is the highest debated topic here in Philadelphia, Pat's or Geno's? I'm gonna have to give it to Pat's. It was so simple, yet had so much flavor. I could, if I lived in this area, I'd be here every day. I would, and I would love to try all of their different cheesesteaks because it was so good and so flavorful. You know, they've been around for 90 years, so they perfected everything about this sandwich. There's a reason why they've been around since 1930s. Yeah, and I would go back and have another one because I really wanted to get that bell pepper and mm. mushroom one, Ugh. but, I'm lactose intolerant, and my stomach will already be bubbling. But we will be here for a couple days, so maybe we can try another one. It's only 60 minutes away. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, subscribe to my gaming channel by just clicking this little annotation right here. And until next time, we'll see you guys later. Peace. Peace.